what is up to this little play through some Max Moore Zelda and Link Between Worlds. So in the last episode, all we did was uh, meet Princess Zelda, travel to Kakariko Village, obtain some items, and just explored the whole area. Met Sal Sahara, whatever his name is, I don't even know. It's such a strange name. But uh, now we have made it to the Eastern Palace and uh, met up with Osfala. And he was like, dude, uh, what do you think you're doing here? And we're like, oh, we gotta save you, man. But apparently he doesn't want to be saved, so he just freaking just walked in there. So, let's make our way into the first dungeon of the game. This place is so cool looking. Okay, so, as you can see right here, there is an orb that you can hit with your uh, arrow, and here is also a uh, switch that you can hit to open up that pathway. So, let's go ahead and just check what's in here. I'm pretty sure nothing important. Yeah, just some rupees, so if you want to get some extra rupees. And uh, as you can see, this is almost or even identical to the one from uh, the first game, from uh, uh, Link to the Past. So here's one of these enemies. If you guys remember the orange and, like, uh, purplish-blue, I guess? I guess that's the color it is. Uh, like, enemy that you can always hit, and it's got, like, the, like, like spiraling tentacle thing, so... Here, if you hit that switch, you can uh, make your way to that entrance and get 20 rupees. So let's go ahead and uh, enter this part. Alright, so yeah, if you guys remember, there are these orb thing balls, like boulders, that you could, uh, you have to dodge, so you better watch out. Oh, here comes a big one, holy shoot. Okay, whoa, whoa. Is it right here? Oh, God. Okay, so as you can see, there's a locked door right there. And the theme, you're going to start hearing that it sounds exactly like it from uh, Link to the Past, just remix. So that is really cool. It really gives you that nostalgic feeling, just in like a uh, new kind of way. Okay, so how do we make it here? There's another switch that will open that door. So let's go ahead and... Oh, crap! You suck. Don't come over here. Okay. Can we go in any of these rooms? Alright, so here's going to be sort of like a mini boss type thing. You just hit them. And then here's some more. Spin attack, kill them all. Super easy. There's a treasure chest right there and it opens that door. So, if you want to get a uh, secret item or some rupees or whatever, I don't even know. Go inside there into that middle entrance and uh, hit the switch and open this. 20 rupees! Alright, so now we can go over here and... Uh, where do we go? Ah yes, two entrances, so that'll open another switch to the door. Get this. Here's our compass, right here. So now that we know where uh, everything is, I can see that there is an entrance over there, so let's go over here. Okay, so yeah, there's this bottom part. I can't show you right now because uh, I don't have the bottom screen shown. But right here, if you look on your map, if you're playing along along with me, you can see that there is a uh, opening here, or not even opening. I think you need like bombs to get to that part. I have no idea. If you guys want to tell me in the comments below if you figured out how to get over there, I'd love to know because that actually really helped because I want to see what's actually over there. Okay, so for this part, you're going to have to time it just right. Hit that first. Hit that second, jump down, and get yourself a small key. Okay, so come over here, and now that we have the small key, we can enter this part. Here comes a uh, another mini boss type thing, I guess. So these guys are kind of hard because they take a few hits. There you go. Not too shabby. Okay, so as you can see, this part right here, this is a teleportation like thingy that'll warp you over to the uh, beginning of the uh, dungeon. So if you want to and you like saved or whatever and you got out or died, you can always come back here to the second floor so that it saves some time. Because that's basically the hub area of where everything's going to be. So uh, go ahead and use your shield to deflect all this crap. Oh crap. I don't know what I'm doing. Kill this dude. Open that. Pretty sure there's another one of those guys over here. Yeah. Okay, but you can always you can always use more money. 
Okay, so come over here and use your uh, arrows to hit that switch. That'll bring that up to help you uh, open this part right here. All right, let's go ahead and kill this dude over here. Come on, man. Let's go. Die, you suck. All right. For sure, yeah, there's a dude over here. He'll just fall over. Wow, what an idiot. Okay, so there is a switch right there. I'm pretty sure we can just hit it from here. Okay, so, uh, actually not sure how we get over there yet. Completely forgot, but I think that's, oh wait, yeah, we need, I have to have the key. So we'll get the key from this part right here. Alright, so this part is actually really difficult. I figured this out whenever I, on my other file. So yeah, you have to really be focused and aware of what you're doing. See, just got hit right there like a stupid idiot I am. Okay, so that'll make that entrance or that uh, chest come out. Okay, I guess there are no more arrows. Sweet. And let's slowly, slowly, slowly make our way over here. God, this thing forever. All right. Plenish your health and get yourself another small key. All right, so let's come over here and, uh, crap, where am I supposed to be going? Let me see my map. Uh, yeah. Okay, so, we can go over here now. There's actually a treasure chest, it says, over here that I believe I missed. So let's go ahead and get that. And this is just optional. This is to kill all the enemies. So once you have done that, you can open up the treasure chest and get yourself a... Some monster guts. Okay. All right. Well, very interesting. Ow, that hurt. All right. So uh, since we're already in this area, let's go over to this part right here that I missed. Pretty sure you can get some more monster guts. So hit this to uh, get this uh, stairway out, and you're gonna have to rush over. Watch out for the big boulders. Whoa! Got ran over by that crap. Okay. So this part gets a little crazy over here. It's actually really ridiculous. Okay, so hit that switch to open that door over there. What you want to do, ow, what the hell. Put that down over here, and then you gotta rush, hit it. Get yourself another treasure chest. So, some more monster guts. Uh, apparently, if you get ten of those, you can go to the potion lady and get yourself a uh, purple potion, so that actually is uh, very beneficial to you. And uh, let me check if we've gotten every single room so far. Sorry if my finger's in the way. Alright, so we're all good to go. So enter your, this room right here from the small key that we just got. And uh, here we are, another mini boss battle. Not really a mini boss, but I mean, it's got a different song change, so... You just basically, for these guys, these guys are like Stalfoses, I think. You just get them to the corner until, because they're going to keep trying to dodge, and you just slash the crap out of their face. And that will reveal this, uh, I guess, pillar that drops down to get yourself the boss key. The big key for dungeons. All right. So now that we have that, I'm pretty sure that's basically it. We can just hit that switch so that that will go down, and we can... Uh, morph that one area over there so yeah that actually works out perfectly Let's see if we can get any monies monies is always good all right so that'll switch that i never really found out what that did it was kind of weird like it just made it go up i guess we couldn't enter that area yet but uh okay let's go ahead and enter the dot boss I can't even speak. I was about to say dungeon. Yuga! Ha! After all those posing. Oh, you're printing. Just look at you now. Now, my fine fellow, prepare to be made into the my latest work of art. So, there is uh, Osvala. He's getting destroyed right now. Holy crap! 
Aha, an excellent painting. What a knack I have for capturing the smallest details, just so. You freaking idiot. Oh, who? You're that wriggling worm I saw at the sanctuary. What have you come to challenge me again? I don't have time to cuddle. Cuddle would be heroes. But since you insist, I will oblige. Okay, so basically to defeat this guy, um, you're going to have to use your arrows to hit him. And then you just slash the crap out of him. And then he'll just go into the paintings and do that. So it's actually kind of nerve-wracking right there if you uh, get hit by these night dudes. Hit him, slash the crap out of him again. Dude, relax. Don't go Super Saiyan on me, bro. Alright, so he's just gonna start moving around. Oh, crap. Hit him again. Watch out for the electricity that he just put right there. And then kill, killing him. You gotta kill this dude. And... <laughs> Enough of this! You're going to spoil everything! You forced my hand! I must brush you aside! Oh no! Link! Now we have turned into a painting! The hero of time has fallen! No! The game's over guys, that's it! What a sad drab painting you make! You can rot there for all I care! Freaking asshole. Now onward, my collection requires even more perfect paintings. Oh, how I long to hang that exquisite Princess Zelda on my wall. It's a sad day for all Zelda fans. Uh oh. What is this? <laughs> Look at his eyes. He's like, what's going on? Oh my god, the hero has risen! Back from the dead, here he comes! Very nice. Ravier's race that saved you, but how? Anyway, it seems that you can now merge into all. So we have to thank Ravier for basically saving our life. Without that, we couldn't have not. Uh, what was it? Got out of the wall, and this item basically lets us lets us uh, merge to the wall and turn into like a painting or whatever. You got a heart container. All right, so that's our first heart container, and as you can see, we merge to the wall, wall like this. It's really cool, but you have to watch out for the uh, purple like thing right there that's your magic I guess so let's wait until that recharges let's go ahead and go this way and uh, you can get some oh here it is an energy gauge this is an energy potion so that will we'll, uh, refill it quicker because it already kind of recharges but I mean it's not like full on like perfect takes a while drop down here get yourself some more Come over here and as you can see, there's some rupees that we can collect. So we will just do that. First, let's get some more of that. And, uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and collect our rupees. This is so cool, though. Some more of that. And here is a... Oh, my God. A silver rupee. 100 rupees. Are you freaking kidding me? That is just too good. There's five rupees out there. I'm not sure how to get, but I mean, it's just money. We don't really need it. All right, so let's drop down here. Come over here. And uh, I think there's just one part over here. Yeah, it actually goes in. So make sure you stick yourself to the wall. Exit out, and then just run on over here again. Here's our next area. First floor, so stick to the wall right here. And it'll uh, turn over and form a kind of like a bridge design for you. And uh, I'm not sure. I don't think there's anything over here that we can get. Oh, here it is. Purple rupee. Man, they're just so generous with the cash. All the rupees in the world. 
So I'm actually about to run out of energy or whatever. The treasure chest over there looks like. Let's go ahead and get it. Here it is. Another silver rupee. Holy crap. This is just too good. Okay, but yeah, guys, uh, again, if you tell me where that, uh, if you found a way to get to that area right there that I was, like, confused on. So, uh, yeah, just put in the comments below, and uh, I'll give you a shout-out. Like, seriously, that is really confusing. I have no idea how to get there. Oh, my lad, you finally found your way back out of the Eastern Palace. But what of Osvala? No, you guys taken Osvala too? Or still... He now has two of our sages. And that fiend said he was going after Princess Zelda next. We mustn't let that happen. Holy crap, what's going on? My word, what was that? Are we too late? Something dire is happening at Hyrule Castle. There's no time to waste. Holy crap! Trippy. Whoa, what is going on here? That's what I'm thinking, bro. Holy crap, this is weird. Oh, God. That barrier. I've never seen such magic. I daren't approach it. Well, we must break through somehow. Princess Zelda and Lady Impa are trapped inside the castle. Listen, well, slow. We must turn again to the legend of, our, of old for our solution. These abominable events are an echo of what happened all those years ago. Then, when the castle was in the grip of evil, the hero of the day found the Master Sword. The hero first had to claim the three pendants of virtue to prove himself worthy of the blade. But there are already thwarted, for one of those pendants is inside the castle with Princess Zelda. Oh, what a quandary. We need her pendant, but there's no way to get it. What? What's that? It can't be. You're wearing... That's the pendant of courage. What in Hyrule are you doing with it? Slow. She gave it to you? A special charm? How right she was. She must have sensed the evil in Hyrule and the rise of a new hero to meet it. So, is it you? It must be. Why else would the princess have given you the pendant of courage? She knew you would need it to get the Master Sword. Well then, my young hero, you've got quite a quest ahead of you. You have to find the other two pendants. One pendant has been enshrined in the House of Gales. And the other pendant in the House of in the Tower of Era. I will mark those spots on your map. Slow. What? You got the pendant of courage. Good thing the princess thought ahead. Yeah, for freaking yes. But first it seems prudent to save before you take such a quest. Care to do that, young hero? Of course. Alright guys, well uh yeah, that. That basically does it, so let me just read this last bit of text. I shall head home to search my library for clues to who the other seven sages of our day must, might be. So for now, it's all up to you, Slow. Alright, well that was actually pretty cool. Uh, let me kill this dude real quick. You can suck my balls, bro. Alright guys, well I guess that's basically it. Thank you all so much for watching this episode, and uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next one when we will be collecting the uh, remaining pendants. So, see you guys.